Here's a decadent chocolate dessert for you. This is my baked chocolate custard with a chai and sugar crust. Kind of like a brulee, but even better. So we need to start with a little bit of milk. So I've got one litre of milk. We're going to heat that up in a pot. Just slowly pour that so it doesn't go everywhere. And we want to bring this up to the boil so it starts to cook the eggs. So we're going to pop that on a medium to high heat. Make sure you watch it so it doesn't overboil. And I'll flavour this with some vanilla, about a teaspoon. While that's boiling, we can get onto the eggs. So I like the combination of four whole eggs and to make it extra rich, two egg yolks. Give that a really good whisk. And to this, I'll add some sugar. So just like a classic custard. And what makes this different to a brulee is we're not adding cream, we're adding some milk. And to thicken the whole thing up, I'm going to add some corn flour. So that's going to be our thickening agent. It's also going to create a really rich, decadent consistency on our custard. So in with our corn flour. And little by little, we're going to stir that in use a bit of elbow grease to give that a really good whisk so there's no bubbles whatsoever. We don't want to see any flour lumps in this. All right, that's looking good. Now to flavour this with some chocolate, use some really good Dutch cocoa for this. You'll taste the difference. So we're going to add a generous amount of that because we want it extra chocolatey. And then again, just slowly give that a whisk until it's completely combined. You can see as it starts to absorb that, it goes that deep, rich, chocolatey colour. Now, if you like, you could put the chai at this stage so you can really taste it throughout the chocolate. I'm going to keep it separate by putting it on the top there. All right, let's go over to this milk. See how it's just coming up to the boil now? We're going to turn the heat off and very carefully we're going to add the milk. Now, I don't like to add it all at once, so we'll add a little bit. And this is called tempering. And the reason we do this is so we don't scramble the eggs. So just slowly start whisking that in just to loosen up that chocolate mixture. Scrape the bottom of the bowl and keep mixing that. Okay, a little more of the milk and the vanilla mixture. And then now because it's loose, it's much easier to mix in. Fantastic. Okay, that's our custard base. Now I need to thicken this up, so I'm going to just grab myself a clean pan and I'm just going to strain this through a sieve just to make sure we catch any cooked egg or any little lumps there. So we'll just pour that in. Perfect. This will make sure that we get that extra silky consistency too. There we go. And I'll grab a wooden spoon. And now the heat goes back on. So what we want is this to coat the back of this spoon. So we're going little by little, give that a stir and don't walk away from it. Just constantly stir this until it's really thick and lush. And it will get thick and lush because of all that corn flour that we've added to this. Once it's thickened, I'm going to place it into a tray. Now you can use anything you like. You can make individual ones, a large one. I'm actually using a large one. This one's about 1.3 litre capacity. It fills it up nicely. Cover it with cling film. It goes into the fridge and let it chill completely. All right, this custard has set nicely. I've removed the plastic. And now what we need to do is just add a little sugary chai crust. So I've got some caster sugar here. And you just want to carefully and evenly scatter that caster sugar over the top. So all along the sides. And I'm using a blowtorch for this, but if you don't have a blowtorch, you can absolutely preheat the grill element in your oven and grill it very quickly, just so it starts to bubble and caramelise. And I'm lucky enough to have a blowtorch, so we're going to turn that on. And just using a circular motion, I'm going to brulee the top. All right, we've got 
got a lovely crust on that now. It's still piping hot, so that's when I get my chai tea and just sprinkle it over and it'll just set into that hot toffee. You just want that subtle taste of the chai. Fantastic. To garnish this, some strawberries, just a punnet of strawberries. And what I've done is just slice them into rounds and then toss them in just a little bit of sugar just to bring out their sweetness. I like the freshness of the strawberries with the rich chocolate. We'll just pop that on top. A few more just in the centre there. And that is a gorgeous set custard with a caramel toffee topping, that hint of chai. Let's crack into this so you can see this. What we like to hear. And we'll place that onto a plate. Oh, look how glossy and perfect that custard is. It almost looks like a self sourcing chocolate pudding. A few little strawberries on top. And that right there is decadent. I did tell you it's rich, and I'm going to tell you mm, it's also delicious. Yeah.